This instructional video will demonstrate how to write a solubility product constant for a dissociation reaction of a slightly soluble solid. I have five examples here and the first step is to write out a balanced dissociation reaction. So for our silver one chloride we have silver plus in solution and chloride ion in solution. And so the solubility product constant is just a special case of an equilibrium constant. In this case, the solid will not participate. So I will have concentration of silver times concentration of chloride. For the silver 1 sulfide, it works very much in the same way. The main thing we have to do is pay attention to the stoichiometry. And so I have my silver 1 ion and my sulfide ion, both of which are in solution. Because this is an equilibrium constant with a solid as reactant, I only have to worry about the product of my two uh, product species. So we square that because of the two on the stoichiometry, and this remains to the first power. For our copper 2 phosphate, We have copper 2 plus respecting stoichiometry, and that's in solution. And our phosphate ion, also respecting stoichiometry. And so in this case, our KSP is copper 2 plus ion to the third, and our phosphate ion squared. Mercury 1 chloride that will dissociate into the mercury 1 polyatomic ion and we have two chloride ions because we have to make sure this thing is balanced. So the KSP then is our mercury concentration times the square of our chloride ion concentration. Finally, cobalt 2 hydroxide. So we have our cobalt 2 plus, which in solution gives us a very nice color if we were doing an experiment. Uh, the hydroxide will have 2, and our KSP then requires a cobalt 2 plus concentration and our hydroxide concentration squared. So this concludes the lesson on how to take slightly soluble solids, write out the dissociation reaction, and then write proper solubility product constant expressions for them.